end of the day, everything is done. We're legally married. I'm 18. I'm grown now. Talking about, oh, you just a baby. I'm 18. I moved out my mama house when I was 16. Rapper Kodak Black spoke on the situation that has been trending all over social media these past couple of days. The story is about a couple out of Fort Pierce, Florida named Deja and Mike Huggable. Mike is a 46 year old man who married his 18 year old goddaughter, Deja. And people are outraged. Now this isn't a full breakdown of the story, it's just a summary. There are a lot of different reports on the age of Mike. Some say he's 53, 55, but on a live, Deja says he is 46 years old. But nonetheless, People are outraged, saying that Mike is too old for Deja and he has been grooming her since she was a kid. He has pictures with Deja as a baby and seems to have been a part of her life her whole life. And now the story is viral all over the United States and the black community. Mike took to Facebook on October 16th, defending Mary and the young girl, writing, it seemed like I'm the only in the town that have married a young woman. But since it's me, they gotta have something to talk about. Look like you little girls are jealous of my wife, but keep on promoting us, I love it. Going on the right, real don't gossip and go behind other back talking about them. That's that real end quote. Although people feel like they are speaking out in the best interest of Deja, saying that she is just a child being taken advantage of by Mike, Deja is not here for their sympathy. She went live going off defending her marriage, saying things like, if he is a predator, he's my predator. Let's watch a few clips from the live. Since y'all wanna go on his page, we just gonna settle this shit now. I'ma say this and I'ma be done with this and let y'all little ignorant ass, no class talk after this shit. Me and my husband, we're married. Me and my husband ain't going nowhere. I don't give a I don't care. I don't give two I don't I don't give two that that not even one about y'all opinions. Y'all on here talking about oh I'm just stating my opinion. I'm just stating my opinion. I'm just stating it don't mean shit to us. So why the fuck waste your time and energy and your your motherfucking time out of the day and your life to sit up here and keep on saying it? It 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 that's your opinion. We don't care. At the end of the day, everything is done. We're legally married. I'm 18. I'm grown now. Talking about oh you just a baby. I'm 18. I moved out my mama house when I was 16. 16. 16. 16. What did I do? Get a job. Get a job, pregnant and all, working, pregnant, f***ing working at 16 with no mother f***ing body. I ain't had nobody. My mama was a d Okay, so what? He's 46, not 50. Thank you. He's 46. Half of y'all mother mammies, probably, he probably f***ing half of y'all mother f***ing um, peoples. Probably f*** your mammies. And you got y'all daddies mad and some of y'all mother mad at him because he on his shit and we both on our shit and the f y'all just mad because i'm happy they should always gonna be happy no y'all thought that i wasn't never gonna be because of my past that's what y'all thought and i proved y'all wrong that's why y'all was really mad but at the end of the day that shit ain't even worth it because at the end of the day i'm gonna do me we gonna do us i'm gonna continue where this mother rock on my finger and just because i'm young why would i want to be with it if i got my mind is more mature than being with a mother young why would i want to be with a young and mother he want to lay and play he, he don't know shit. like you said like y'all said how i'm young and ain't my mind ain't open all the way okay well a young is even worse than a young female why the fuck would you think that i want to sit around and be with a young that want to other people and want to and don't got his mind made up don't know what he want don't want to commit don't want to get out his mama house don't want to do that why the fuck would i want that that's not what i want i don't want that i want to be with a nigga that know what the fuck he want in life i want to be with a nigga that got his that stacked up his bread i want to like that i don't want the nigga that, that want to go be with this and half of them y'all half of them y'all fucking with is mother they fucking f and i know f i got friends that's that mother tell me about y'all getting fucked it. My don't play that. Look at my stats. For real. They got plenty bread. My we can own the whole mother. We can own half of the around this. Y'all always claim, oh girl, you that you that in. At least say I am. At least I got the balls to say I am. Yeah, yeah. I don't people and and I got the balls. That's all that matter. I got the balls. I can say that and you know why i can say that because i changed i changed bitch. how about you do that how about you change and stop being with it that's how about that how about you change bitch?
How about you get your money up and worry about yourself? How about that? Why y'all, that's, that's what got me here. I kept my head on, I kept, and I kept reaching my goals. I got a whole scholarship. I'm about to be a, I'm finna be a, going to college, become a registered nurse. I can go to college and it's free. I ain't gotta pay a dime. I ain't gotta pay a dime. I'm sitting on money more than you think y'all motherfucking don't even do all that internet rapping y'all got going on and stating y'all opinions. Y'all know y'all ain't gonna come to me for real like that. Y'all already know that. Y'all already know that. And I don't even come out of character unless a with me. And this right here, it ain't with me. But at the same time, y'all motherfucking, y'all motherfucking coming at me sideways and disrespecting me and mine. But at the same time, Fort Pierce ain't no big city, bro. What it do, cuz? Huh? What it do? I got a license, he got a license. Some of y'all ain't even got that. Some of y'all niggas that supposed be riding around the motherfucking, um, riding around in rental cars for the weekend, trying to figure out what y'all gonna do in, in, in the fucking company car. We own this bitch. We own this. Y'all mad, cause y'all see us on our shit. Apply us instead of trying to talk bad about us when y'all ain't even got y'all shit right. Applaud us, bitch. Bow down to us, cause that's what y'all need to do. Bow down, bitch. Bow down. The rain, Kiss the motherfucking rain, bitch. What's the point of y'all saying all that? Talking about, oh, it ain't, it, it, that's nasty. He a predator and stuff like that. Okay, he ain't with y'all. So what? So fucking what? So what? So what? Y'all just mad because half of y'all mammies be in his inbox. And now y'all mad because y'all trying to mother get back from y'all y'all mammies because y'all mammies, he done put y'all mammies in the place. So that y'all mother mammies. Half of y'all mammies that and ran through. Ask y'all mammies about Mike Huggable. <laughs> is mad. Y'all oh. mad. Oh, so funny. This shit is funny, man. It is shit. really sad. Like, y'all, man. I wouldn't even waste my energy on them little dumb girls, man. I wouldn't even waste that my energy. Y'all was just sad. Like, that shit is so crazy. Though. All y'all was trying to motherfucking talk y'all, y'all opinion. Okay, and if he a predator, he my predator. He's mine. He's not with y'all. I'm 18, so I'm grown. I didn't know that being 18 was 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 something wrong with that if i recall some of y'all 18 and still stay with y'all mammies it has been said that deja's mom was an addict when she was growing up but her mom still took to the internet herself saying that she did not approve of deja's marriage with mike and that she too had slept with mike as recently as 2017. let's take a listen my daughter and mike huckabuck married each other right i don't approve of that stupid cartoon and that's what the i said I ain't even go to that Mike, you know I in 2017 in my apartment in the mother LP when you was coming over there hard. Anybody who know me know when I stayed over y'all seen that fat thing over there. Okay? For a cell phone, $150. Okay? I was working at Family Dollar and I need some extra money. So that's what that was about. I told this dumb, and then when she ran away when I stayed over there with my oldest daughter in Jacksonville, Mike was the main one time I just, my goddaughter, y'all help me find her. Da -da -da -da. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when I whooped Deja ass in that kitchen too? Like the 14 year old little girl she was. Yeah, y'all remember that? So, with that being said, Deja's my last child. Her name really is Deja Niaya Evans. Like Davinia Evans, mine. She just got adopted in 2016, right before I came home. Okay, by Ashley Jackson. What? All right. So, with that being said, uh, Deja doesn't remember when she was little. She don't. Re she don't remember when I was when she was with me. I lost my kids to DCF. A lot of y'all know I used to not pat these soul. A lot of mother drugs. Whooped a lot of went to jail a lot. I was young and wild as hell. I don't apologize and I've been got if I apologize in a mother mo. But you said you married Mike because you need stability. Okay, so uh your son, your your stepson, my little cousin, your little cousin, yeah, he he didn't know, he didn't know whether to call you his godmama or his mother god, I mean his stepmama or his god sister. I say, is she, is she your god sister or your stepmama or your cousin? He said, she my god sister and my cousin. No, my stepmama and my cousin. No, he said, my stepmama and my god sister. That's sad. I ain't smoke powder, smoke cigarettes since 2000. 
That's my clean day. How about that? Top that. And I ain't have to go to no mother program to do that. I ain't have to go to jail, prison, none of that. I just got tired of losing. So I changed my life. Whatever the lady Lonnie, Lonnie, whatever the young Jackson, Huckabuck, whoever the you are, stay at my mother face. Please don't ever speak to me again in life. And I mean that. I mean that you were literally just over here yesterday, hugging and kissing on me. Now you on Facebook yesterday talking shit. Man, look girl, I mean today. Talking cash shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Find something safe to do, little girl. You 18. I'm not killer B and all them little you be arguing with. Cause Mike study and bringing diseases. When your over here, your was itching day. I had to bleach my shit out. Cause your mother over here. Man, all this, you had to sleep with me. And then three weeks later, you gonna get married. It ain't my fault that you. I'm sorry. I might have been started a little too much battle with y'all. Oh God, that's probably what happened. Rapper Kodak Black took to his Instagram, reposting the story, writing, "Shaking my head. My daddy did the same. Left us to start another family with his goddaughter. I was about nine, but I ain't judging nobody though. To each own. It could be true love. Do you guys want me to do a full breakdown of Deja and Mike's story? Comment below and let us know. Do you have a story that you would like for me to cover? If so, email us at whogotthestory at gmail.com.